Hey everyone, it's a uh, quick video here um, demoing a request of uh, just showing a little bit of the TZFM modulation on the 2v2 dual oscillator uh, along with sync. So we have uh, just two sine waves uh, for simplicity here and the right side is uh, in green and the left side, which you're not hearing right now, um, through the mixer is uh, in blue. So with the sync off and the left side modulating the right side, we have typical TZFM. So if I change the pitch of the modulator, you still hear the carrier coming through. You'll also notice that it stays constant even when I go way up into the high frequency, showing the great performance of the TZFM on this module. And then if we change the carrier, you get that kind of an effect. Now, if we put soft sync on, which will now sync this side from this side, it changes the way the TZFM sounds. So now let's change the modulator. It has more of an effect on the overall pitch. You change the carrier, and it changes more of the character of the FM. And you can see these inflection points like that, where it's getting reversed, which is what soft syncing is. And you get a similar effect if you go to hard sync. It's just more aggressive because those inflection points are a reset. And then here's the, uh, the modulator. Okay, hopefully that was clear enough. Um, to me, that's the more useful way to do it. If you reverse things, so now we'll hear the left side. If you patch it so as to bring the right side modulating the left side, it gets all kinds of crazy when you soft sync it. Let's try moving the modulator. And now the mod the carrier. Pretty weird, huh? And if you go hard sync, it's even more crazy. I'm not even sure what to call that. It's kind of a crazy feedback loop if you think about running it that way. All right, well, hopefully that was enjoyable and didn't melt your eardrums too much. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's uh, 2v2 uh, cross modulation plus syncing both ways. All right, take it easy.